a little windstorm. How, how much wind is it going to take to knock over some of these trees? What was once sort of a smoldering thing is now a raging fire. We have an epidemic. The pathogen is a native fungus. It is called laminated root rot. And one of its primary hosts that it will attack and feed on is Douglas fir. And we have an abundance of Douglas fir here. We have trees that were stressed somewhat due to competition and other factors, which has allowed the pathogen to become, uh, to build up its population. And it is now attacking throughout the Douglas fir stand here. Sometimes we find trees that look like this. And it's like, you, we can drill these and actually detect it. And other pathogens, more often than not, create openings than this laminated root rot does. And here's what the, that whole root system looks like. It was still taking up moisture, but what's the rest of the roots around that tree even looking like? A strong windstorm, and where's that tree going to go? And Doug Fur will do this, as will other species. When their roots come in contact, they graft together. And so actually food travels from one tree to the other, water, vice versa. And so as a pathogen can hop into that network, it can spread throughout a stand where you have a lot of dug fur. You look at the size of these roots and how they just broke. You know, if that was a healthy root, it shouldn't have broke at that point. All of these things right here are bark beetles that have already infested this tree. It's a feast. If we cut a ton of trees here, what we're going to do to the bark beetle population is send it sky high. We are looking at a full spectrum of options, the most aggressive being to remove all the Douglas fir and therefore um, basically robbing the pathogen of a food source. Uh, the other alternative, the other end of the spectrum would be to basically walk away from this developed landscape. That doesn't mean we'll, we're going to leave the park but we're going to no longer operate it as a campground. Campgrounds are considered to be high target areas, high risk areas that we want to have safe for the public and to have people spending extended periods of time in an area with a lot of root rot is high risk. And so we would abandon the campground facilities. Even though um, the ones with the damaged roots and the diseased roots may need to come out. I'll tell you what happened in Kitsap. When we did take the trees out, it created a much healthier forest. Uh, as our ranger said to us, your, under, your underground and your undergrowth grows much faster because the sunlight gets to them. You'll have new growth from new trees and the first year uh, it, you can still tell you had a problem but usually by the second year you can hardly tell. But the agency has yet to make a decision. We have a situation here that needs to be addressed. I think in, in a time frame that we don't lose more than one summer with our park but also the fact that when you have diseased trees you're putting other trees in, in danger. We'll work through this because this is too much of a gem for our community to not to.